Partner Off in the Indian Summer, presented by Keeneland Select, Averly Jane, comes right out for the lead. Averly Jane is a foal uh, that was born and raised here on Main Chance Farm as, as part of, of our program. Averly Jane against the rail, leads it by almost a full length. As a weanling, you, you never really know how they're going to turn out. Um, but when, when she grew up and as she started to mature and she really turned into a beauty. She's very fun to watch because she's uh, fast out of the starting gate, takes the lead. Averly Jane opens up on a three length lead. The rest of the horses in the field to date have not even gotten close to her. Averly Jane though has a four length lead, a deep stretch. It is Averly Jane, Averly Jane, Tyler Gaffalione to win the Indian Summer presented by Keeneland Select. She wins and makes it look easy. Uh, she's one of the fastest ones that I've been on. She'll almost throws you in the back seat, but uh, I mean, uh, she's a lot of fun. I got the experience to help train Averly Jane. Spent a lot of time with her all during the summer and fall. Super eager horse, she was amazing. Very easy to work with and very sensible. A lot of students that didn't have as much experience, got to work with her. And it being my first year working with horses, I spent a lot of time with her and I learned a lot from her. She was a special one. She kind of stuck out. She had a good confirmation, big hip. She kept getting more feminine as she got older and she just had that personality that made you want to like her. She was definitely one of our, our sweeter horses to be around. It's amazing to watch and see, especially when they give us a shout out whenever she's about to run and they say that she was raised by UK and it's just awesome to know that I was able to be a part of it. Averly Jane, a two-year-old filly by Midshipman out of Shushashaken by Richter Scale, bred in Kentucky by the University of Kentucky. I was able to go in the winter circle with her and to see her in person, you know, almost a year later from the last time I saw her here, to see what she's grown into, it was really special and it, it makes us really proud here. She's just a quality filly. Uh, she's got a tremendous amount of speed and she just keeps going. And what was exciting about that was, well, everyone was really thrilled with how the horse did. I was also thrilled to walk around and see how many of our alumni were there. They were cheering for this horse. Many of them are working in the industry now. There are graduates. And then we had students on internships, uh, working for media, working for horse trainers and bloodstock agents and, and all kinds of things. So our presence at Keeneland that day for our whole program, top to bottom, was really strong. And that's exciting. You know, it's great to watch a race, but I really reflect on, you know, what that means to the students in terms of how they um, view their experience here, either as uh, working students or students that come out here for classes. It's been really important for me to come out and have a chance to be at a place where they give you every learning opportunity. It has allowed me to learn so much that now I feel confident that I can go out and be a successful um, horsewoman in the thoroughbred industry. As much as we want to give this horse the attention and the excitement is really fun, I go into that barn and I see learning happening and I know uh, that, that our mission is being fulfilled there. And that's really where the attention belongs the most. It's on the students that are learning and developing and they're going to go out there and they make us proud too. So the, the horse is great, but the people that I saw that day uh, at the racetrack reminded me just of how many great people we've had here uh, as students and now there are graduates. But again, you know, something like the Breeders' Cup is, is pretty phenomenal for, for anybody, you know, not just our program. And to have produced a, a Breeders' Cup qualified horse is very exciting, but if she were to even exceed that and win the race, well, that would just be fantastic. And Averly Jane, though, has a four-length lead, a deep stretch. It is Averly Jane, the time a stakes record. Exceeded our expectations just like a lot of our students do when they move out into the industries.